This video is in response to Nathaniel Mago. He asked a question, can I also show how to solve three or more equations using the Solver app? So that is exactly what I've done right here. So um, the same way you do the two variables, this is you have an array of equations and you have an array of, an array of solutions. And um, separated by curly brackets, I have the equations. These parentheses were put in there when I evaluated the function. Um, those aren't necessary. Um, comma separated equations, and then your answers, comma separated, also in curly brackets. Now, um, it is important to note the order in which you put the solution. If I have, if I'm solving for x, y, and t, um, it's, they're going to be output in the order x, y, t. If I'm solving for x, t, y, they're going to be in the, that order, respectively. Um, so that's how the format of your solution. Um, you can see I've evaluated it right here, and this is a, b, and c. Um, now I have three equations and three unknowns. You can do this for four, five. You can keep going up as high. You can actually leave additional variable uh, unknowns in here, and if you solve for a, b, and c, um, it'll do them in terms of a d or something like that. So let me go ahead and put a plus d. Now all my functions are evaluated with in terms of d. All, all my values are evaluated in terms of d. Um, this is the nice thing about symbolic notation. Um, now this is only this can only happen in the cast menu. Um, uh, this is nice if you have equations not that aren't in explicit form. If they are set up nicely, you're probably better off doing reduced row echelon form of a matrix. But um, it is cool that HP Prime can do this. Um, if you like this video, um, subscribe to see other videos. I have other HP Prime videos, other how-to videos, and thanks for watching.